for one little on the way at a time. Oh, baby's awake. Oh, baby. <laughs> baby. That's baby. This is straight 90s right here. Mm -hmm. He's going to hold it. Oh, that's my baby. That's my baby. My baby. That's my baby. That's my baby. That's my baby. That's my baby. It's not your baby. Oh, what's his baby? <laughs> not your baby. Oh, what's they cry? No, don't hit him. Don't hit him. How are you guys? How are you Good. Good. Hanging out, living the Corona lifestyle. Uh, Leanne cut my hair again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks really nice. I know. I don't want to say it's getting better than the last time, but better. It's better than having shaggy hair. Yeah. yeah. We cut, I cut Will's hair. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. And, we, and Wesley was, here, let me see it. And then Wesley was painting. Ooh. 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 Wow. 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 Yeah. I realized I forgot to buy a Mother's Day card the last time I went shopping, so we have to do a homemade one tonight. Oh, and then it'll, be, it'll be more loved anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so service announcement, if you haven't sent out your Mother's Day card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's Thursday, what is today, Wednesday? Yeah. 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 You're running out of time. Yeah. Put him back to sleep. Do you want to put him on the couch? I'm going to take a picture of it and text it to her and be like, it's in the mail. <laughs> and then it never shows up. It'll show up. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Andrea? Good. Clark is sleeping. Oh, and he was upset. He was upset earlier, but. Is he going to read a book? Yeah. I don't know. Ask Clark. Say, Clark, what's your favorite book? Do you have a favorite right now? Uh, we've been reading a lot of Green Eggs and Ham this last week. Oh, nice. We've been reading um, a lot of Little Excavator, Little E. Jackie, no. No, girl. <laughs> Jackie's on the floor. I think she's oh. jumping a little bit. She's she's nipping. She's trying to get me to play. I don't want to brag or anything, but I took a shower so that I could be more present. <laughs> I was uh, I meant to create a poll uh, for how many people have showered today. Yeah. Hey Elizabeth. Hey Elizabeth. Hey Elizabeth. I don't think I shower before like two o'clock anymore ever. <laughs> I just like do my thing and then I'm like, yeah, I'm ready now. <laughs> I showered yesterday. That's close enough. Yeah. <laughs> there was a um, question. Uh, Leanne's mom got us a thing that's like dinner party questions. It's just kind of conversation starters. Mm -hmm. And one was, what's the longest either you would go or you have gone without showering? Oh. Which I think mine is probably like three days, but I was sick. Like that's like for me, it's like, well, I was sick mm -hmm. and I didn't shower. I wasn't just like, let's see how long I can live. Yeah. Also sounds like quarantine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I sleep in three showers a day, but I live in Florida, so. <laughs> Basically just existing in the world is a shower for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're pretty humid up here. Uh, I'm gonna go with like, probably not, probably like maybe two days, like maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I can make it a full two days. Baby sleeping. Baby. <laughs> Service <laughs> announcement, baby sleeping. How much, how much sugar does we have today? He just takes baby and then he just like throws him over into the um, crib. And he's like. <laughs> 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 you, throw, you throw him in the bed? Yeah. Yeah. We're eating schnitzel tonight with Caesar salad. Mm. What did you say? What was the first word? You're eating what? Okay. I thought for a second you said stencils. Yeah, we're eating stencils. Things are getting real down there. Yeah, fried pork chops. Nice. 
All right. Um, so we have a couple changes for this week. Uh, in in light of the strategic changes last week for Trivial Pursuit, uh, I think we'll do one speed up round. Uh, so our second round will be Trivial Pursuit, so everyone will get that. And then I removed it from the Wheel of Fortune. Um, so that will not be a choice. Um, we'll just do one round for everybody to do that. And then um, Michelle dropped me a note that she'll be joining in about 10 minutes. So she'll be playing catch up. Um, but otherwise, we can get rolling. Uh, for today, we have a new category uh, called Star Smash Wars. Um, so these are our categories for today. Um, hodgepodge is an assemblage of our other questions that we did not ask for previous weeks. Um, so it's a motley crew of pig-related things. Uh, then, More or less, Tiger yeah. King, Seinfeld. Yeah, so there's a little <laughs> bit. It's a hodgepodge. It's a hodgepodge. Um, so Elizabeth, would you like to go first this week? Sure. I would like if you said no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see what happens. All right. Our week seven, uh, it's hard to believe this is the seventh week, um, but uh, true or false, Elizabeth, um, pigs have a great sense of smell. True. That is correct. Uh, and um, the only example I know is for truffles. The they, truffle, they, yeah. Well, so that is a point for Elizabeth starting strong like every week uh, with points on that one. <laughs> All right, uh, Carrera, Wesley, and Will, are you ready? We are ready. Was Spin it? Was the wheel. Spin the Spin wheel. The wheel. Spin. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> ready? Oh. Uh, as featured in your dinner this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Hogwow. Uh, true or false, pigs are among the smartest of all domesticated animals and are even smarter, cover tiddlies in Red's oh. ear, than dogs. True. That is correct, uh, let alone for their uh, truffle hunting. Yeah. Um, but I think really this is just Leanne trying to make the case that we should get a pig. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have somebody who works on campus who has a pet pig, and he brings it to like the big big events. Next time I see him, I'll take a picture of him for you and send him land. How <laughs> how big is the pig, Carrera? Um, I have an explicit word. It's bleeping huge. <laughs> <laughs> and too, like they're really muscular, so like they look like. It's raining in our house. Oh. They look like they would maybe be, you're like, oh, that's probably like a 50 pound pig. It's like 250 pounds. <laughs> They're large animals, but apparently very smart and can be trained. And yeah. Yeah. I, I looked at it before and I think Illinois prohibits uh, pet pigs. It must be somehow become an animal farm, which is also <laughs> Illinois. All the rules. All right, Andrew and Clark, are you guys ready? Yeah. We've right, got some squeaky toys in the background, so hopefully that doesn't. Ah! That's Jackie's. Jackie's. Okay. Uh, whips end, which is more fun if you say it that way. Whips end. Uh, Andrea and Clark arrange these according to when Dorothy meets them in the Wizard of Oz. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna, I've got to turn up my volume or take the squeaky toy away. <laughs> what did I do? I've got to do, I've got to. <laughs> I knew we should have brought a squeaky toy. Okay, okay, let's try that again. Okay. Arrange these according to when Dorothy meets them in the Wizard of Oz, first to last. So who does she meet first to who does she meet last? Cowardly Lion, Scarecrow, and then Tin Man. What's the order Dorothy meets them? I'm going to go with Scarecrow, Tin Man, Lion. That is correct. Yay! Very good. Very good. Very good. Man. I don't follow Leanne. Leanne, of course. <laughs> let go. Let go. I need to think about it, though. Yeah. Um, all right. So everyone is on the board. Uh, so now we will go to round two. Bum, bum, bum. Which are our, our trivial pursuit questions. So this is it. Uh, we'll go to you for six questions in possibly less than six minutes. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. No. Wait. No. Wait. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> We've empowered them. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are sheet bends, clove hitches, and grannies? Nuts. That's uh, correct. I had no wow. idea. Wow. <laughs> uh, what fowl is the dark avenger of the night? Darkwing duck. That is correct. Uh, what is the name for someone who likes to explore caves? Oh, shoot. A spelunker. For a bonus, do you want to try and spell it? <laughs> As I look at the spelling. S P E L U N K E R. That is correct. Right. Uh, what town did Casey go to bat for in Casey at the Bat? It's a poem. Yeah, I know. I was just thinking about that poem earlier this week. But I don't remember what the town was. Johnsonville. That's Very right. close. Very close. <laughs> Anyone else know? It's a tricky one. It's Mudville. Oh, Mudville. I had a bill uh, on it. What type? It's okay. You got that bonus, Elizabeth. Uh, what type of rocks include sandstone, chalk, and limestone? Is there multiple choice? Uh, I can give you multiple choice. Uh, like, metamorphic. Wait, like, okay, go ahead. Uh, metamorphic, sedimentary, or what's another type of rock? Yeah, metamorphic. Uh, <laughs> It is sedimentary. It is sedimentary, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, what square place is called a ring? This is a sports kind of thing. Boxing. Yeah, that's correct. All right, so I think you got five out of six. Mm -hmm. All right, very nice. Uh, nicely done. Yay! The best part was the first question. She was like, not. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Faster. <laughs> I did either of you, Andrea or Career, did you know that one? I have no clue. The... No, I don't know. <laughs> when like, you said granny, I was like, all I could think about was underwear. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, the, everyone knows the clove hitches, uh, yeah, yeah. which could also be a type of underwear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to be obsessed with clove hitch knots, though. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's why I knew. <laughs> Wait, how did you know those, Elizabeth? Oh, because I used to be obsessed with clove hitch knots from, like, my time in um, doing uh, like, AV tech work. We had to tie clove hitches. Oh, I don't remember why, <laughs> but I remember that not being very strong. Good thing to look up now because I've never heard the phrase, I don't think in my entire life, clove hitch. Yeah, I think it had to do with like the lights because like it was a totally immovable knot and we had to like tie the lights up, you know, like on the stage, on the catwalks. Cool. Yeah. It's one of those things of like when you see like how many types of knots, like I just tie my shoes and that's <laughs> the only knot I know, the bunny knot, uh, as it's formerly known. <laughs> Oddly known. <laughs> in some circles. All right, uh, Carrera, as the schnitzel is ready, as so the schnitzel, schnitzel is ready. Chef, Chef Schnitzel rocked the house. It does look good from this angle. Yeah. A little jealous. Mm -hmm. Only seven hours away. <laughs> <laughs> Drive. We'll make right. you a fresh batch. All right. Okay. Morning schnitzel. Yes. Uh, <laughs> all right, here are your rapid six questions. Are you ready, Carrera? Let's do it, Wesley. Okay. All right. You ready? What? Spin the wheel. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Let's want to spin the wheel. We'll spin the wheel after. Okay. Uh, what feline is the sports cat for Cheeto's cheese puffs? Cheetah. Uh, do you know his first name? Chester. That is great. Uh, who gives nightmares to people on Elm Street? Oh. Uh, Michael Myers. <laughs> Will says oh. Michael Myers. <laughs> That is a villain, but not in uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, I don't know. Pass. <laughs> I don't know. Elizabeth, you know? Freddy Krueger. Mm -hmm. uh, what are cumulus and nimbus, Carrera? Will? Clouds. That's correct. Uh, whose adventures were written down by Dr. John Watson? Sherlock Holmes. That is correct. Uh, Sherlock Holmes. Uh, what is known as the most ferocious fish in the world? La Piranha? That is correct. Uh, and the last one, this is a uh, sports one. What is the name of Jake Roberts' snake? What is not the name of Jake Roberts' snake? <laughs> yeah. It is obviously Larry the Snake. Yeah, everyone knows it's Larry yeah, the Snake. Everyone. Uh, yeah. Andrea or Elizabeth, do you have any <laughs> from the 90s? <laughs> Like, I, I'm, I'm not even, I, yeah, there's stuff going on. <laughs> I don't even know who Jake Roberts is, so that's not a good starting point for me. It's a sports question? Yeah, it was, he was a professional wrestler. His name was Jake the Snake Roberts. 
Uh, but apparently he had a snake. Oh, awesome. That snake's name was Damien. Oh, Damien. Uh, how many points did she get there? Uh, she got... Yeah. 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 Oh, Clark, he's very, very excited about this. Well, yeah, the, the dog went outside, and now he's very worried that the dog is not with us. Oh, oh. I, I see the look of worry on his face. <laughs> uh, um, all right, are you ready, Andrea? Yes. Okay, uh, what is the only man-made object visible from outer space? Uh, the Great Wall of China. <laughs> what is the name of Calvin's stuffed tiger? Wait, the name of, of what? <laughs> Calvin's stuffed tiger. Uh, and the category is, give it a little help, uh, fun. So it's kind of like entertainment. It's a book. Calvin and blank. Book. Yep, yeah, that's good. Uh, what happens to water at 212 degrees Fahrenheit? It boils. Correct, three. How long did Phileas Fogg take to go around the world? <laughs> Show them, show them any, any animal? Oh, Clark, do you have any animals? No, we've got all kinds of animals. Uh, you want to show them the rooster? Oh, a rooster! We've got, we've got a pig. This is the pig. Oh, oh. big question. Let's see the pig. You hold it up to the oh, the piggy. Look, hold it up and they can see it. Oh, look. We have a little piggy. Horse. The horse? Yeah, there's a horse over here too. No. Oh no, you don't want to show them the horse. Oh, we, maybe next week, Andrea. Yeah, right. Maybe next week you can see the horse. <laughs> what was the question? Uh, how long did Phileas Fogg take to go around the world? Literature. Uh, 180 days. Uh, minus 100. 80 days. Uh, very close. Uh, are sponges in the wild animals or plants? Animals? Correct. In which game does a thrown ball travel the fastest? Baseball? Uh, apparently, high eye. <laughs> high eye, it's faster, apparently. Okay. I don't know, how'd she do? Did the uh, got eight a lot of points. Yeah. All right, so you're up to nine points, and then Michelle, to bring you up to speed, Woo! welcome. Um, we're, we pivoted, so the second round is speed up round where everyone does Trivial Pursuit, so you're just in time to get all the bonus points. All of them. Michelle. Okay. Is the name of the Holy Book of Islam? No, I don't get any multiple choice. No, but it is spelled wrong, or it's spelled differently than how it's now currently spelled. What is the name of the Holy Book of Islam? The Quran? Correct. Mm -hmm. Uh, what toy's name means play well in Danish? Lego. Correct. Ooh. What Ohio senator was the first American to orbit the Earth? John Glenn. Correct. Three for three. How many blackbirds were baked in the pie? Nursery rhyme. Oh. Five. Anyone else know? Elizabeth? Five and 20. Close. Uh, four and 20. Uh, 24. 24. I would have had no idea. Uh, you know? No. <laughs> uh, what part of your body, Michelle, contains about one quarter of all your bones? Your foot? Correct. Didn't you injure your foot? Always. Yeah. Um, what company first marketed the Frisbee disc? Huh. Hasbro? Uh, apparently, anyone else know the answer? Is it Nerf? No. Uh, think of an 80s uh, band uh, featuring George Michael. Whammo! Whammo apparently was the first Frisbee company. That was, those are yeah, all correct. Was, like, oh, like yeah. Frisbee company. Who yeah, no, I was like, I thought Frisbee was the name of the brand. Yeah. All right, how many points did she get? She got eight. Whoa, and she's caught up. So we've got Elizabeth in the lead with 13, Ooh. Kura, Will, and Andrea tied with nine, and then Michelle with eight. All close right. game, close game. All right, so third round, we'll go back to the wheel. Um, let's do reverse order. Michelle, we'll go back to you. Are you ready? Yes, you, Michelle. 
Probably changed now. Uh, one of these does not belong. Which of these is not among the top three ranks of countries most visited by tourists worldwide? So not in the top three. Great Britain, Spain, France, the U.S. Which one doesn't belong? I'm gonna say Spain. Would you like to guess again? U.S. Would you like to guess again? Great Britain. That is correct. Uh, so Great Britain is eighth in the world. Hmm. Uh, the countries by rank. France is number one. Yeah, the I US, thought France would be in there. US is number two. Uh, Spain, three, and other countries running off the top five are China and Italy. Wow. Four and five. And that's as of 2014. So it could have changed. Could have changed. changed. Could have changed. Good guesses. Good guess. Nothing. No country is yeah, in the now, top five. Yeah, right. Current Currently. Tourism, zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> Please do not leave your existing county. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that is. It's all mostly. I want crunchies. He's got crunchies. Ooh, what are crunchies? Ooh. Our salad came with croutons. croutons, but it's a chopped salad, so they like crunched up. They chopped up the croutons Ooh. as well. Okay. Crunchies. Crunchies. Uh, fun fact: we also refer to them as crunchies in our. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. We have the verbal repertoire of a two to three year old is our range. Oh no, Will and I started calling them crunchies first. Do not worry. <laughs> All right, Andrea and Clark, are you ready to spin the wheel? Okay, Star Slash Wars, there's a lot of stuff uh, online earlier this week for May the 4th. Inspired by that, we have questions about stars and wars. Uh, true but or not false, Star Wars. But not Star Wars itself. <laughs> uh, true or false, Andrea, the Treaty of Versailles ended World War I. Um, sure, true. That is correct. Yay. Well done, well done. Well guessed, well guessed. I'm sure you went back to all those world history classes and it, it came quickly to mind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we go Carrera, Will, and Wesley. We shall spin the wheel. Are we ready? Big spin wheel. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Love it, Wesley. No. No. Crap. 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 Okay. Um. All right. Uh, here's a tricky one. Three of these were invented by Archimedes in ancient Greece. Which one was not? The cannon, suspension bridge, the screw, the catapult. So which of those did he not invent? Cannon, susp suspension bridge, the screw, the catapult. The cannon. Would you like to guess again? What if I just suspension guessed bridge. the cannon again? <laughs> <laughs> I would uh, suspension, uh, suspension bridge. That is correct, Will. Uh, so separate Will's points here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> her uh, is an imbecile. Thank God her husband oh. is there too. <laughs> At least uh, I think we said his name right. The uh, do you want to guess what country for a bonus invented the suspension bridge? China. China. That's right. Yeah, wow. In 25 BC, the How other. How do you know people... this? Because those Chinamen love building stuff. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you might have to edit. <laughs> I gotta mute bridge. this before you guys think more poorly of us. <laughs> I have to rethink asking follow up questions of Will. They <laughs> <laughs> also have any gunpowder. So, the last time when you asked us our favorite color, when we were logging on, we said, do you think they're going to ask our favorite gun as we log on as our, like, our uh, icebreaker tonight? And I was like, I don't, I don't think so. Honey. No, I don't think so. And then he's like, oh, wait a minute, let me go to the city. All right, uh, Elizabeth, uh, over to you uh, for the wheel for round three. Big spin. Just into the yellow. 
All right. So from this past week of news, Elizabeth, um, there were some tricky ones that I didn't know how to pronounce this week. So we'll go with an easier one. Uh, <laughs> Tokyo residents were urged to stay home next week during which national holiday? You have multiple choice. Was it Harvest Moon, Coming of Age, Golden Week, or the Emperor's Birthday? Maybe the Emperor's Birthday. Would you like to guess again? Maybe Golden Week? That is correct. It is Golden Week uh, in Japan next week, um, which uh, we learned about. There's a uh, show on Netflix called Terrace House. Uh, it's like real world without any of the drama or excitement. Um, <laughs> so, but weirdly captivating. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like six Japanese like young adults that are living together. But yeah, it's, it's, it's like real world, but so much tamer. <laughs> so tame. So tame. So if you're looking for something to... Just mellow to have yeah. in the background. Yeah. Terrace House. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, so what's, uh, after three rounds, what's our score? That's pretty close. Bum, bum, I know. So Elizabeth in the lead with 15. Bum, bum, bum. Um, Andrew Career and Will tied at 12. And Michelle close behind with nine. Okay. So would we like to have one final round where you pick whatever category you want for all the points? Okay. Um, we'll snake back the other way, in, inspired by Jake the Snake. Uh, so Elizabeth, <laughs> whose snake's name was? Uh, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> or was it Carrera Charles? What did you call it? Larry. Larry. Oh, Larry, sure. Carrera's name for the Larry. snake. Larry. It, it, it went by a lot of names. Oh, Larry. <laughs> Classic Larry the Snake. Um, so uh, Elizabeth, which category would you like for your final question? What did you say was in HodgePodge? Uh, it's a mixture of Seinfeld, uh, Tiger or King, Tiger or King, and then there's one more or less, or one that's been a month in there. Okay, um, I, I'll go with Hodgepodge. Okay. Give a preference on Tiger or King, Seinfeld, or it's been a month. Let's do Seinfeld. Okay. All right. All right. Your question, written specifically for you. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, yes, no. that is correct. Yeah. These questions are written for all of you every week. Uh, Elizabeth, what kind of pasta does Kramer make a Jerry figurine from? Was it? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Michelle knows and wants to steal. Uh, penne, penne pasta, fusilli, or tortellini? Ah, uh, um, let's go with uh, uh, Penny. Michelle, would you like to regale the group? You silly Jerry, because he's silly. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't those bow ties? No, nah, that's Farfali. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is who silly the corkscrew? Yeah. See? Ugh. Okay. And then someone sat on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and for any bonus, uh, do you remember who sits on it? Does Will know? Or is Will just gesturing? Oh, the figurine? He's Italian, you have to oh, forgive him. Uh, bibbidi bo like... bibbidi bobbidi boo! <laughs> Leanne, do you remember? No, we don't have a yes. Isn't it uh, George's father? Mm -hmm. yeah, I was say it was either his George's Stamps. father or his mother. One in a million. A million to one, one shot. And then he goes to the ass man doctor. Mm -hmm. ah, it's a good, good couple episodes there. All right. Yeah. Um, so let's go, uh, career and will, which category would you like to pick for your final? We would like, we would like to spin the wheel. Tell them okay. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. As you command, as you. Alright, Leslie, get ready to guess. Good spin, good spin. Um... Arrange these popular comic strips by when they first appeared in newspapers, earliest to most recent. Dilbert, Carrera is in love with this question. Uh, Dilbert, Wizard of Id in Doonesbury. Wizard of Id. Well, we didn't get Doonesbury, Dilbert. 
Correct. Exactly Ooh. right. Good job, Farrah. Good job. It's not good because I only know what Dilbert is. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. You mm. figured out the other two. All right. And then Andrea, and then we'll finish uh, with each other. All right, Andrea, which category would you like? Uh, let's go in the news. Okay, in the news. Great choice because we have more questions. Uh, <laughs> specifically for you. Um, okay. This is an interesting one. Uh, it involves animals for Clark. With Woo. processing limited by the virus risk to workers, which of these methods are farmers trying to slow weight gain among hogs? So slow down that muscle mass. Is it? They're just killing them. Yeah. yeah. I thought that's what I read last week. They're just like, well, we're going to have to kill all of them. <laughs> now they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't have to kill them. We can just slow down how fat they are. Um, so, you know, just give them a week. They'll figure it out. Yeah. All right, you're just start giving them some salads <laughs> <laughs> with uh, some crunchies. Yeah, with crunchies. More crunchies and less uh, <laughs> animal feed. All right, your choices, Andrea, are to slow down weight gain in hog, more light in the barn, lower barn temperatures, higher barn temperatures, or heavy metal music. With lower barn temperatures. Would you like to guess again? Higher barn temperatures? Higher barn temperatures. So they're they're making them sweat it out. Uh, a little sweat shop yeah. with the hogs. Uh, so I was hoping it was heavy metal music. So I would just love to see a hog farm just walk, like racking out yeah, to yeah. Megadeth. <laughs> Megadeth might be, what, what band do you think would be the worst to play at a slaughterhouse? Oh. Megadeth sounds like. Slayer. Slayer. Yeah. Like, probably any, any, <laughs> any metal band. Yeah. <laughs> right, uh, finishing up Michelle. <laughs> Uh, which category would you use? Seinfeld. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. Ah. <laughs> All right. Okay, Michelle. Uh, last minute editing here. Okay. Uh, what does Kramer have installed in his shower? A garbage disposal. That is correct. <laughs> Didn't even need the multiple choice. Another memorable, binge-worthy episode. Mm -hmm. uh, also Are with streaming Stella. anywhere? I need to find. I need to watch. Uh, it. Hulu. They were on Hulu. Yeah. Hulu had it. Oh. All right. Now right. I got my after-show plans. I yeah. Think Seinfeld sold the rights uh, to somebody else coming up, but I think Hulu's rights extend through this year. Yeah. Uh, for Seinfeld. But, all right, so that is the end of round four in our exciting COVID-19 The Game Show, week seven. Bum, bum, bum. Um, <laughs> what are our final scores, Leanne? All right, so because of the bonus fourth round, we're and Will pulled in the lead with 16 points. Clap, Leslie. No, Clap. Let's <laughs> I'm getting hugged, but he has really greasy hands, so I'm sorry. <laughs> and then Elizabeth and Michelle are tied in second place with 15. Close, close behind 15. And he injured it close behind with 14. Oh, very well so played. So close. Very well played. It's very close game, everyone. Happy birthday, Daddy. Happy birthday, Daddy. Happy birthday, Daddy. Happy birthday, Daddy. When, it's when not his birthday. Uh, when <laughs> was Will's birthday? It, it's in August. Okay, so it's close. Yeah. We're practicing early. Oh, uh, are there any upcoming birthdays uh, that we should celebrate in future weeks? Not from this family. What about you guys? Us or later this, this month. Yeah. Later, when's your birthday? Andrea's in November. Clark had his last month. It was in April via Zoom. Ooh, Ooh, nice. Did you have any fire truck drive-bys? <laughs> no, no drive-bys. No drive-bys. It's like weird where <laughs> now you're wishing for a drive-by on your birthday. Uh, Elizabeth, <laughs> oh. get your fork out of the mayonnaise. Just for my birthday. It's July 1st. Ooh, nice. Right around the corner. Right around the corner. <laughs> yes. And then Michelle, here's what you're I celebrated what? two weeks ago, April 12th. Yay, happy birthday! Yeah, happy birthday! Oh, wait. Clap, Leslie. Uh, uh, give me what a moment, Michelle. What a moment. Happy birthday. Say happy birthday, Michelle. Sing it. You what? <laughs> for it. Wait for it. Okay. What's up, Mom? No, please. What's up?
Tapos listen nyo yun. Listen, listen. Yeah. Many more of them to you, Michelle. Thank you everyone for playing week seven. I uh, hope you have a joyous rest of your week. Uh, and I, we didn't do the true or false. I was going to ask true or false, did I shower today? Uh, so <laughs> I like you with that quandary. Her <laughs> said she already showered. Uh, it seems like most of this group did. Um, I did not. <laughs> Michelle? No? All right, we split it. Uh, I also did. <laughs> I did shower. <laughs> like right. weirdly, the way the videos are, the people who did shower are on the top, uh, <laughs> the people who did not shower. Oh. Um, but uh, thank you everyone for playing. Have a good rest of your night. Yeah. Thank you for hosting. Bye. 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 Bye.